Hi Kyle, welcome to my home. Come on in. Hi, I'm Annette and I'm a vintage expert and stylist, so I help people reimagine their home and wardrobe and I'm also creative director of A Vintage Splendor. It's a lifestyle blog where I share all of my tips for integrating vintage into your home and wardrobe for unique style. We bought this home 10 years ago and it was a very long process. We saw it, we fell in love, we put in an offer and it was 10 months of waiting. When we got the keys, we realized, wait, it was like a hoarder's paradise in here. And I say that um, half joking, but it was filled with stuff. There was actually a bed right where I'm sitting and it was just filled with a ton of things. There was a fender in the front planter. So it was a big project, but I think we saw the potential of this house and we knew it was ours. I am very inspired by textures and layers and prints and color. And funny enough, even though our home is mid-century modern, I really love looking at books that and magazines that cover really the over-the-top gilded era mansions. I just really love looking at all the colors and I think people a long time ago really put a lot of thought into their aesthetic and how it was a representation of their their personality and these homes had their own personality and that's what we like to do in our house i really think of our house as imagine a character in a play or in a story like she has her own style her own personality her own vibe So I bought this vintage coffee table. It has a beautiful brass base and the glass top. It was the first item I bought when we moved into this house. I found the guy, he was in Arizona. He drove it all the way from Arizona to Pasadena to drop it off. And we've had it for 10 years, two children. And I have to say, it's very practical. It's easy to clean, it's easy to wipe off. And it's proof that you can live in a home that's very style forward, but very practical. I literally manifested these nightstands into existence when I was redecorating our bedroom. I knew I wanted a moody vibe and I had this like vision in my mind of beautiful vintage nightstands and I looked on Facebook Marketplace and I saw these and I drove over an hour to meet the woman um, who had these and she was getting rid of them because she's like, my kids destroy everything and I want them to go to a good home. And they're like the perfect addition to our room. I just love that they just like, they're functional, they're really beautiful, and it was literally what I wanted. It's like what I had in my head. And I think sometimes when you know what you want, you could literally manifest it and find it on Kayo or Facebook Marketplace. I love this artwork. It's by a renowned artist, Faye Singer, and I bought one of her early sketches for my sister at the flea market, and I loved it so much but I was sourcing it for my sister. The next time I went back, the same vendor had this piece and I said, I love her artwork and I just really loved the color. After the fact, I discovered who Faye Singer was and her pieces go for thousands of dollars and I got this art piece for under $100 and I just love that my sister and I have two important pieces by her that are really reflective of her work. She was this amazing female artist based in California and I like love that we're giving her artwork new life in our homes. So I've always loved unique pieces. I started thrifting when I was 10 because I was obsessed with Tom Ford. Um, yes, even at a young age, I loved flair, the avant-garde and fashion. And I obviously started looking at home decor when we bought this house. And I just love that vintage furniture was thoughtfully designed. It's very unique. It serves a purpose and it was built to last. And I just love that every single piece has a unique story. 
Obviously, as a mom to two girls, I also believe that we're borrowing this planet from our children. So buying vintage is one of the most sustainable things that I could do. And I just love that we've built a home that's full of color, that's full of personality, and it's very creative and it inspires that um, for my family and even for myself. I love getting older because, I mean, I care less and less about what people think and trends. I think in my 20s, I was like, I'm just gonna dress for me, and now I'm 41, and I, I, I dress like this to go to Trader Joe's because I feel good, and I think that's an exciting part about getting older, is you do more of what you love, and you just drown out the noise.